What's up you guys? Welcome to this week's One Piece Review. Let's talk about today's chapter 870. So, Beige Capone is still getting hit with these Hail Marys from Big Mom, and Chiffon is trying to make the case of forgiveness for all of them, which I think is extremely funny because you guys destroyed Mother Caramel's portrait, which is Big Mom's most cherished item, and you attempted to take her life not too long ago, and you ruined the wedding between Sanji and Pudding, which would have granted Big Mom Germa's technology. On top of that, the coup de grace of it all, you look exactly like Lola who screwed up her marriage that was gonna grant Big Mom the giant army and make her the pirate queen of One Piece. So you are the culmination of all the reasons Big Mom would not accept an apology or any pleas of forgiveness or mercy. And also, let's just think back, several chapters ago, she phoned, said that she does not care what happens to Big Mom, and that she would probably be glad if Big Mom was dead. So, she phoned pretty much drew the line in the dirt where she stood anyway. So, I just think it's kind of pathetic that you're backtracking now. And I feel like, personally, if you are going to stand with something, are you going to, you know, follow a certain action? Own up to it. Stand by it. Don't, you know change positions or change sides in the face of opposition or resistance you know own up to your mistake own up to your action and just stand by it and the fact that she's kind of just begging right now is just pathetic to me but um another funny thing that i find laughable is sweet commander smoothie thinks that the fire tank pirates and the straw hat crew underestimated them and i'm just like underestimated who you're the only sweet commander that we haven't seen in action so far, at least in serious action. If anything, we've seen more action from the rest of Big Mom's children, the rest of Big Mom's crew, and we've seen more action from Pudding than we have from Smoothie, and that's, that's saying something. And you're a sweet commander. The fact is, you guys should have been there to intercept Beige Capone and Luffy at the drop of a dime, no matter what. But the thing was, when Big Mom was on her knees, and vulnerable and beige capone had all those launchers pointed at her you did nothing but scream somebody stop them you're a sweet commander for god's sake act like it dogtooth did more to prevent this assassination attempt than anyone else this guy went above and beyond to try to stop everybody he tried to stop luffy from destroying the portrait he tried to stop the launchers he clogged up beige capone's cannons he's done above and beyond to try to do what he could and I'm pretty sure if Cracker was here, Cracker wouldn't even be asking questions. Cracker would have biscuit soldiers, and he would have just simply took the fight all, just straight to all of them. And there wouldn't even be a question about this even succeeding at all. This whole assassination plot would have been stopped if Cracker was here. Mind you, his biscuit soldiers were more than a match for Luffy in Gear 2nd, Gear 3rd. It took Luffy Gear 4th to actually take them out. And mind you, Gear 4th gave Doflamingo a run for his money. So, that's just saying something. But we haven't seen squat from Smoothie. On top of that, the reason Big Mom and her crew and her family were in such a tough situation as it was is because they're too afraid of her. They're too afraid of the punishment. Charlotte Opera lied about, you know, Luffy and Nami being in prison. They didn't really want to face the consequences of that punishment if they admitted the truth. On top of that, I just think that Big Mom's crew and her family and herself, they were really arrogant. You're trying to tell me that the same pirate crew and the same Yonko who could kill anyone that you love and care about and can make you come to any tea party, no matter how far away you are, can gather up any ingredients she wants for any type of food she wants, can't literally do a background check on her own members, a background check would have showed that Beige Capone kills the leaders of groups and pirate crews. That he is known for just simply taking out the head and leaving. Did no one ever question the fact that Beige Capone just suddenly became a rook over the time skip? Did, did, did any other crew member just say, well, Big Mom's a Yonko. No one's crazy enough to assassinate a Yonko. I mean, did no one look at Blackbeard? Did no one look at any other pirate that has attempted to take a Yonko's life? Did they never think, okay, well, we're letting in this random stranger and we're making him a rook and we're bringing him into our inner circle and he might see what weaknesses Big Mom has and try to take her out anyway? No one? 
No, when I mean, also on top of that, Bobbin thought he was confident enough to take out Sanji. Despite the fact that Sanji won hit KO Bobbin right then and there. And then Bobbin got bodied by Beige Capone again. So, this is the same guy that supposedly burned down a whole country. The same guy that was so confident and so fearless in front of Big Mom. And I'm just like, I'm just not feeling it. The reason you guys got in such a tough situation wasn't because you was underestimated. You were pretty much underestimating them. And this is why you guys were in such a screwed situation. Also, another thing I have to speak about in this chapter, I'm just so glad that Sanji got his nuts back in this chapter. I mean, in the past few recent chapters, he has been in a commanding position, especially with his father and his brothers and everything. But he just really got his nuts back in this chapter because he said, look, I don't care about you. I didn't save you because I care about you. I saved you because I would be less of a man to the person that I admire. And he just openly confronted his father. And if you look at how he was treated as a kid by his father, I'm just like, I'm happy that he stood up for himself. I'm happy that he told his father, I don't fucking care if you don't want me in your life or not. I don't want to be a part of your life. I don't. And I'm just like... Thank you, Sonny. You finally just reclaimed your dignity from all of this. But also, it's just pretty much a suicide run that Luffy and Sanji are doing right now. I know it's to protect Reiju, but still, it's a suicide run. You're facing Big Mom, two sweet commanders, and everybody else is still fresh to go. You may have the Vin Smokes, and I will give them credit this chapter. They are a lot more durable than I would have given them credit for. I thought that after one hit from Big Mom, no matter what it was, they would have been down and out, irregardless of what it was. Um, and we see Reiju is clearly able to take a hit from Heavenly Fire. And we see that the Vince Smokes aren't really afraid of dying to make sure that Beige Capone and Caesar and the rest of them get out of there. And let's just talk about Beige Capone's plan. His escape plan is absolute crap. We're betting on several different factors of Caesar actually being fast enough to fly them out of there and the fact that Dogtooth won't do anything about it. I mean, Dogtooth is the main obstacle of all of this. People need to remember this. This guy can see into the future. Not just seconds ahead, but several actions ahead. He could see this whole escape plot and then just simply cut it off at the head. Vince Smokes, Luffy, Sanji are not. This guy has been the number one guard dog of Big Mom, and I doubt that he's just going to let them just go. Also, with Sanji and Luffy there engaging Big Mom, we might be looking at two possible things to happen in the next chapter. Possibly an all-out fight between the Fire Tank Pirates, Beige Capone, Luffy, Sanji, the Vin Smokes against Big Mom, Sweet Commanders, and the rest of everybody else there, and... Maybe the other less likely scenario that Beige Capone and the rest of them still leave and just leave Sanji and Luffy there to fight Big Mom alone. It's it's a very unlikely thing to happen, but it could. You know, they could get left behind. It could happen. It may it would probably make an interesting, you know, next few chapters. But um it's more likely they're just gonna all out duke it out. And I'm not really sure how the fights are gonna line up, especially because Maybe we'll have all the Vince Smokes taking on Smoothie. We'll have Gene Bay taking on Dogtooth since we've seen that Gene Bay's abilities are really effective against Dogtooth's Logia, Devil Fruit abilities. Um, as for Sanji and Luffy versus Big Mom, I definitely don't think they're going to be able to beat her, but would they be able to buy enough time? Possibly enough for Beige Capone and the other key members to escape. And then maybe they'll be able to throw escape of their own. Um... Also, we're, we're just leaving out the fact that I don't think that the Vince Smokes are just going to just let this happen. You know, we still have the Germa Kingdom that's still around in the area. They could possibly, possibly, I might add, come to their rescue. And I'm, I'm just, I'm not even saying it's impossible. We might still have, you know, some Warriors of Elbath come in too. It may, it's, it's a stretch, but it could happen. It could happen. But, um, I just don't know. I feel like Big Mom's crew severely let us down in the sense that they over, they underestimated the Straw Hats, they underestimated the Fire Tank Pirates, they underestimated 
the possibility of any of this happening. And this is why they're getting embarrassed so much. And for Pete's sake, throw Smoothie in there. Let Smoothie fight. Let's just see what she can do. And I just, that's just about it. I mean, her Devil Fruit ability is interesting, and I really don't know how it could be used in combat besides just really grabbing a hold of your opponent, squeezing the life out of them. But I doubt your opponent's just going to stand still and let you squeeze the living life out of them. So, how does her Devil Fruit ability work in combat? Does she just simply squeeze acid and stuff and just fling at people? I mean, I don't know. This is VM. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Like my Facebook page of the same name. Bye.